for a small British overseas territory, Gibraltar has an astonishing amount of the great outdoors. Come and have a look. The best way to get to know Gibraltar, on two wheels. And if you think the terrain looks daunting, don't fret. Electric assistance is at hand in the shape of top of the range e-bikes. Gibraltar only has about 30 miles, 50 kilometers of roads and an e-bike is a great way to make the most of it at a very human pace. The man with the e-bike plan is Stuart Headley. Well, Simon, we're going to give you a premium e-bike from Reese and Muller and we're going to give you three hours of exhilarating uh, fun. Stopping here first at Catalan Bay, where we've got this 20 million year old sand dune that was captured before the Mediterranean filled in. We'll take you over to Europa Point with the majestic views across to Morocco and then all the way to the top without breaking a sweat in an environmentally friendly way. A magnificent hunk born in the Jurassic era and towering over the Mediterranean. No, not me, the Rock of Gibraltar, location for one of the world's greatest urban hikes, the Thrill Seekers Trail. It comprises ancient paths and centuries-old military tracks embellished with 21st century structures that provide high-altitude thrills and vertical views. And as part of the Thrill Seekers Walk, the Skywalk, opened by the actor Mark Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. This is a particular thrill on a windy day. It's the Windsor Suspension Bridge, which is strung out across a 50 meter gorge between two batteries and of course, gives gorgeous views. So much for the land, time to enjoy the water. Hundreds of tons of sand from the North African desert have been brought to fill Sandy Beach, my favourite in the territory. And besides a swim in the med, you can try stand-up paddleboarding. Tom, talk us through why anybody would want to paddleboard in Gibraltar. Yeah, well, welcome to Sandy Bay. Uh, this is our playground, so this is where we teach people to paddleboard. It's nice and calm. We've got some nice groins that keep, keep the water nice and flat, which is perfect for paddle boarding. And when you go out, we have dolphins, whales, turtles. It's a brilliant place to paddle board. Time to leave it to the professionals aboard a dolphin adventure. Cetaceans know the Bay of Gibraltar is a rich feeding ground and in between meals they seem to enjoy the attention of us sightseers. We have a huge population of dolphins here. We've got three main species. We have the common dolphin, the bottlenose dolphin and the striped dolphin and there really is a very large population of them. In the summer there's thousands of them here. We have very deep, very clean water here, and that's what brings them here. There's a huge fish stock, and these guys are basically here for food, for lunch. So that's what brings them initially. It really is a hot spot for the world um, for dolphins, but not massively well known. In Britain's multi-dimensional place in the sun, you sense that lands, seas, and cultures converge to spectacular effects. 